Um, I think um, strategically, I think probably it's, it's quite an obvious answer when you get bowled out for 70 odd. Um, it's, I mean, it's not pretty much there to take something out of it. Um, I think over the series, I think we haven't played our best cricket. We came here early, prepared ourselves, um, had a good camp in Queenstown. Boys were working hard, hitting the gym, doing the hard hard yards, but we didn't uh, put up in our show. Um, so it's quite disappointing as far as a T20 captain. But um, having said that, I think probably we need to find something out of this series so that we can build it up for the next series. So yeah, and definitely, um, we will, we, I think probably we will want to forget this series uh, as we we, did, we came here to achieve something because we haven't achieved anything for so many years here. Um, we've been touring last few years, but haven't won a game here. So, but we were very much up for the contest, um, but uh, I think probably we didn't make it up to us. It is an unusual tour. You had two weeks. Yeah. And then you did have a catch with the camp in Queenstown. Mm. Um, how much was that sort of, did you think you made the most of that long preparation time or was it tricky because you were stuck in a hotel room for so long? No, I don't think so. It's, it was tricky. Um, as per the rules, you have, to, you have to maintain the rules and it's for the safety for the people of New Zealand. So we have to respect that and we have to maintain that. Um, but... Uh, quarantine is tough. It's definitely tough uh, because staying eight days in a room, then they have given us the permission to go out for two hours uh, for some practice. But uh, we we did had a good time, just hitting a few balls, doing some ground fieldings and all. But uh, I think preparation-wise, we had our preparation. Uh, but uh, as I've said, that uh, we didn't we didn't perform really well. Do you think there is something about New Zealand which is you know tricky for? Players coming from Bangladesh? Or? Uh, no. Uh, the thing is that we know we knew that it will be difficult for us. Every team has a difficulty playing against the Kiwis. Um, recently, Australia had a good, uh, tough time. They have beaten the one of the best team in T20s. Um, we knew that we have to be our best um, in every department, batting, bowling, fielding, to beat the flying Kiwis. Um, but uh, we, we, we couldn't put up a good show. You've lost a lot of experience in your team recently and you've got a lot of promising young cricketers mm. coming through. What kind of messages will you be sort of imparting on those young guys on the plane back um, at the back end of this tour? I think uh, I think probably we need to share our, share our experience because I've played few times here. Few of the guys have played probably one or twice. Few of the guys were very new, mm. haven't played an international game here. Um, and we know the conditions here are very tough against the uh, home team. So we need to uh, share that experience and maybe from that we can learn something about it and try to put it in our game next time. Um, if I can, if I can say a lot of things, but end of the day, you have to, you have to put it in your, in your performance. Uh, that's the most important thing. But uh, uh, like very disappointing series, obviously for us. But uh, we need to we need to change things around quickly, because I think uh, we badly need some wins in our belt, um, whether it's a Test or One Days or T20 formats. We need some win to bring back that confidence in our team. I think probably we're, we're losing some confidence uh, because end of the day you play for win the game. If you don't win, it will. Uh, create some doubt about your confidence, about yourself, and that might affect the whole team. So we need to find some way to win. And there were a few chances in uh, second one days. Um, I think we were quite close. We were quite competitive in second T20. But there are a few moments we need to we need to think about those things, and we need to be careful from the next time that how we can capitalize on those occasions. I believe you do have New Zealand coming to Bangladesh. Mm. The World Cup. Yeah. I guess that'll be a chance to see, you know, how you how you improve by then, but also improve yeah. by then, and, and you'll be at home. Yeah. Obviously, I think uh, we'll be looking forward to those series, especially before the T20 World Cup. We have a couple of uh, big, big series against uh, England, Australia, and New Zealand. So we'll be 
taking properly uh, preparing ourselves to take, take our home advantage try to use the uh, conditions and try to play according to the because we feel that we are quite uh, confident in the home soil so we'll be looking forward to those series did you like what you saw from your spin bowlers on this tour obviously they'll play a much bigger role at home but what yeah. did you like or dislike of what you saw from them on this tour? I think spin-wise, spin wise, I think we were good. The, uh, our spin head coach was Daniel. He has a lot of experience playing in these conditions where the ball doesn't grip much. Mm. And he has shared his experience and um, gave some very good advices to use the conditions here, how you can uh, use the conditions, how you can use your pace, how you... Uh, maintain your uh, line and length. So I think spinners, our spinners bowled quite well. They were quite uh, prote I mean, proactive, uh, what the batsman wants to do. But end of the day, in T20 games, you might get hurt for some boundaries. But I think overall, their thinking was good and their uh, pace variation and line and length was better. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.